Um, depends on how much pressure is on the ball. Uh, I think the best trap is when um we got the defender going sideline. You can you can see the back of his head. We can spin him. Then I think the other guard can come over, and we can trap him because he can't see it coming because his back is turned to the other person. So um you know Coach Smart always tell us he he loves for us to trap, but we sometimes you got to pick and choose your traps. You how quick how quickly do you guys get an idea of how tight the referees are? Uh, right away, uh, you know, they always, right before the game, referees know that we play a little aggressive. Um, I think all it takes is one touch foul for me. I know that's for anybody else, you know, but you can't put your hands on the on the player. So one touch foul, and after that, you just got to play smart from there. Troy, what's the mood around here compared to previous weeks leading in the tournament? Is there more of a comfort level, maybe just, just because this group has been through so many? Uh, no, no, no comfort level at all. You know, we still, we still have a lot to prove. Uh, even though, you know, we have a, a good seed, I guess. But that doesn't matter because anybody can be beat around about this time. So there's no comfort level. Everybody's excited. Everybody's ready to play. We all just want to go out there and prove that we can make this run. I just think in terms of preparation, does it, does it feel like there's a model in place of how to prepare for, you know, so quickly for a tournament game because you had to prepare for. A lot of tournament games the last two years. Uh, yeah, but um, I mean, I just don't want I don't want it to be thing of, of a comfort level. You know, we're not comfortable at all. You know, we still, like I said, we still ready to go out there and fight, and we still got something to prove. Darius, coach said that the hope is that the stronger schedule in the regular season makes you guys more prepared for the tournament. Is that kind of the feeling around the, the locker room? Oh yeah, I think we did have a strong schedule this year, and we played some. Some top teams, I think it um, started in the Bahamas, played three tough games back to back. And, you know, that could, that could have been like a NCAA tournament type thing. And um, right now, you know, we got a good team. I mean, we're playing against a good team, Akron. So, you know, that could be a start of like one of those tough games coming up right away. Talk about uh, that came Akron last year. What do you remember about it? What do you think you might be able to take, take into this game? Uh, we were actually down by like. 12, 13 points, I believe. But um, guys fought it back. And, you know, they're a great team. You know, they feed the ball in the post. Zeke Marshall, probably first-round draft pick. And um, we just got to be ready. I mean, when we go in there, we got to attack the rim. And, you know, we just can't take them lightly at all. And we just got to be prepared. I know we I think we, we won in overtime by one point. So, you know, they probably thinking that they can beat us because we only beat them by one point game, one shot. So, you know, we just got to come and be real prepared. The team has a freshman point guard that Akron has now. Do you guys even ratchet up the pressure of the playoffs here? So, a little more trying to get him rattled knowing he's a rookie? Um, yeah. You know, we try to use that to our advantage, being that uh, he may have never seen a press like that before being – being a young player. So we are going to try our best to use that to our advantage and pressure the ball. But it doesn't matter if they're a freshman, anybody that has the ball, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, we still going to try to pressure the ball the best that we can. Even before the season begins, it is your goal to get to this point. What is it like now you know, on campus uh, when the announcement's made? What's the feeling like amongst the guys that you've gone to that third phase of your season? Uh, guys are excited. And um, I guess on campus-wise, you mean as fans, uh, they're excited too. I mean, I feel like we got one of the best fan fan base in the country. And they love us and they show us a lot of love. And we really appreciate them. And, you know, every time they see us, they congratulate us and, you know, let us know how they feel about certain things. But, um, I mean, around campus, everybody's excited. In the locker room, we're excited, you know, because we still got another game. You know, we still got some more practices. And, you know, all, we, all it takes is for us to get another game is to win, but we got to take care of business on the first one. So guys are excited. This is your third trip to the tournament, but it's also your last. I mean, are you going to – I know you're all business, but are you going to take some time to maybe enjoy it a little bit more, maybe? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all about fun. You know, and I feel like if you're having fun out there on the court, then, you know, when you're making mistakes and things like that, it don't really – you don't really get so frustrated. So if we all just go out there – you know, confident and loose and just having fun, then I think, you know, we should be fine. Is it pair Coach Smart heading into the, the 2000
2011 tournament to now? Has he? How has he changed? The first. The first. Years? My sophomore year. Yeah. Um. Um. Has he changed at all? How How would you describe that? Um. Comparing the two. I just think then we didn't know if we were gonna make it or not, but um, I think I'm, nothing changed. It's a new season, you know. You want to look at our record? You can say our record zero zero right now, and right now it's just win or go home. And if we lose, our season over. But right now you just want to do whatever you can to advance, and I think that's just his mindset. I don't think nothing has changed in his mind. He just want to make sure our plan is whatever we can do to win. That's what he gonna have us do. I don't know if it's a lot of people, but there are some people, you guys on ESPN, they can see you to make the final. I'm sure you guys hear it. When that happens, what do you think? They should have been said that a long time ago. But, um, you know, I don't know. Everybody has their opinion. And you know, like you said, some people pick us, some people don't. But, you know, we still got things to prove. Just like we did two years ago, nobody picked us. And, you know, we felt like we had a lot to prove. But now that, you know, just a few people are picking us, we can't get comfortable. We still got to play with that chip on our shoulder because, honestly, nobody really still has that much faith in us. You are one of the old guys. You are one of the old guys. Uh, what do you tell the young guys now who are facing this you know, for the first time? How do you counsel them on what they're about to face? Um, just go out and play. You know, we've been playing games all season. Um, nothing's different. You know, we all played a televised game before. We all played in front of a sold-out crowd before. Um, I don't really think anything's different. My best thing I could just tell them is just go out there and play and just realize we only – this game ain't promised, guaranteed to win. So whatever it takes and whatever you can do in your ability to help this team win, go out there and do it. Darius, in each of the last two years for your tournament games, you've been an underdog, I think, in every single one. Now you're a favorite. But any, I mean, is there a different feel of that, or, or do you guys really not put too much stock in um, no different feel at all. Um, like I said, I, I feel like no matter what your seed is, you're playing against a, a great team. And, you know, we got Akron, and like I said, they're a great team, no matter what the number seed is. Can that show, though, how far you guys have come in two years? Oh, yeah. And I think um, if you play by your seed, then, you know, it doesn't. It, it just shows what type of team you are. And I feel like if we don't pay too much to the seed or what people are saying, just go out there and just do what we do, pressing, you know, getting the tempo going, it would be fine. What do you remember about walking off the court last year for the last time? Uh, Bradford Bird just couldn't put that VCU jersey on one more time. And that kind of hurt for me because I wanted to do everything and my power for him to keep playing. And, you know, it's kind of funny now because now, I get one more time to put my jersey on. And I wonder how my teammates feel. I know they probably feel the same. And I'm um, just walking off that court, just just hit my heart just to know that his career was kind of done. In your experience in NCAA tournament games, are they more physical, less physical, or fairly normal? Um, very physical. I feel like the, the refs let you play just a little bit in the tournament. I think they don't want to determine if the, the game is off based off their calls and stuff, things like that. I really think they let you play and let you just grind it out for 40 minutes. The relationship between Coach Smart and, and Coach Dan Brock, I mean, obviously you guys know about it. Is it, it does, is that something that, that affects, that you guys are aware of and, and they know you and, and you guys know them especially well? Can you talk about that a little bit? I believe that's his best friend, if I'm not correct. Something about his best friend. And, um, you know, same thing he told us when we played him the first time, this is my best friend, but I want to win. Same thing he told us the second time, my best friend, but I want to win. Hasn't changed. You know, that's his, still his best friend, but he still want to win. So, you know, now nah, nothing has changed. You know, he, at the end of the day, I think they'll still be friends, win or lose.